Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the sweet stitch crochet pattern. Oh my gosh, this pattern is so pretty and it's versatile. It has a really neat quality to it. On one side of the blanket, you're going to see the V-stitch pattern with a very pronounced line. But if you were to flip the blanket over, you see a completely different pattern. And this pattern is also just as beautiful as the other side. So this blanket has versatility. You can either use one side of the blanket or you can flip it over and use the other side of the blanket. And they really just both have a personality of their own. So, so neat. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I'm releasing a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects. And you are not going to want to miss out. All right. If you are curious about what materials I'm using for this particular blanket, I'm going to put those in the notes section below for you. So if you want to take a peek, feel free to go ahead. If you have any questions at all, of course, make sure you just comment in the comment section below. But other than that, let's go ahead and dive right into how to do this sweet stitch crochet pattern. All right, guys, for the sweet stitch crochet pattern, there is a multiple chain count requirement of a multiple of three. So depending on how wide you want your blanket to be, or depending on if you are making a scarf or a cowl or a shawl or a poncho with this crochet pattern, you just need to make sure that the foundation row has a multiple of three in it. OK, so for my example, I'm making an example swatch. So I'm going to start with 21 chains. One, two, three, 19, 20, 21. Perfect. Okay, that's our foundation chain, our foundation row. For row one, we are going to skip the first three chains. One, two, three. And in the fourth chain, we're going to make a V stitch. How to make a V stitch? You're going to double crochet in that fourth chain chain one and then double crochet in that same chain and that makes a little v okay you're going to skip two chains so one two in the third chain you're going to make another v stitch so double crochet chain one double crochet perfect okay skip two one two in the third chain, we're going to make another V stitch. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. You're going to repeat this process, repeat this pattern all the way to the very end of your foundation row. For the very first three chains that we skipped, guys, that's going to create the very first double crochet of your row and it flattens out so it makes that perfect little angle here. Okay, counts as the very first double crochet. And I will meet you at the very end of this row to show you what to do next. Skip two, one, two, V stitch. Okay guys, we have reached the end of this row. You will only have two chains left on your foundation row. You skip the first chain and in the last chain, you put one double crochet. And that closes off your first row. Beautiful. Okay, so this is what you'll see for your first row. To move on to our second row, you just chain two, one, two, turn your work. Okay, for row two, you're going to front post double crochet over the first double crochet of that V. So yarn over, go in the side of that double crochet and come out so you're behind that double crochet. Yarn over, pull through, then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain one, and then front post double crochet over the other double crochet. So yarn over, come through the side of that double crochet, so right behind it, yarn over, pull through, so it's like floss behind it, okay? Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So what it looks like you did is it looks like you took it from a lowercase v to an uppercase v. 
you just elongated those V sides, okay? So you just continue that all the way across. Okay, next stitch, we're gonna front post double crochet, right over that double crochet. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chaining one to separate the inside of that V, and then yarn over and front post double crochet over the next side of the V. So we just elongated that V as well. Pretty cool, right? Continue that all the way across to the very end. And that is all you have to do for row two. Perfect, okay, so I've reached the end. And for the very last stitch of row two, you're just going to double crochet into that second chain of that double crochet there. And that ends row two. For row three, we're going to chain two, one, two, turn our work, and that sets us up for row three. You will see this line right here and this set of stitches, row two, right on the other side of that pronounced line, okay? So for row three, we want to take this pronounced line and fold it forward so it's out of our way and then this guy right here is my V stitch. What I want to do is I want to put a V stitch inside that V stitch. So where there's a chain one, I want to put a V stitch right there in between this V. Looking for this V stitch and I'm going to make a V stitch right in the middle of it. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, so then there's one V. Moving over to my next V, I'm going to put a double, uh, I'm going to put a V stitch right in that V. Chain one, double crochet. There we go. Okay, so that was that V. Moving on, finding this V, looking for the chain one, and making another V. And that's the repeating pattern that you're going to do all the way across for row three. Okay, when you get to the very end of row three, look for that chain two right there, and you're going to double crochet in the second chain of that chain two, and you've reached the end of row three. Perfect, let's just keep going. Row four, chain two, one, two, turn your work, Great. Okay, so for row four or for any even number row, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, you are just going to do the front post double crochet elongating this V. Okay, that's all you're doing. For row, the odd number rows, one, three, five, seven, nine, you're just going to be inserting the new V shape inside the giant V shape. So let's go ahead and do that together. For, for row four, we're on row four. I'm just elongating the V. Front post, double crochet. Chain one, front post, double crochet. Front post, double crochet. Chain one, front post, double crochet. Last stitch, just double crocheting in the second chain. Chain two, one, two, turning our work. We are now on row five. Row five is an odd number row. So we are just going to take this pronounced line, push it out of the way so we can just focus on our Vs. And we are going to place a new V where there is a chain one space. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Perfect, move that one to the side. Next V, chain one space, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, move to the next space, find the chain one, make your V. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Continue this on all the way to the very end of row five, double crochet in the very last stitch, 
and that's your repeating pattern, guys. You are repeating row two and row three, just back and forth. Row two, row three, row two, row three, row two, row three, for the extent of the entire project. There is nothing special in particular for you to do in that last row. There is no special row to end this blanket. You just continue to repeat row two, row three, row two, row three, until you finish, preferably ending on a row three. Okay, but that's it guys. That is how you make this beautiful, sweet stitch crochet pattern. The bigger the blanket, the more you really get to see everything going on. Oh, it's so cool. Make sure you stick around to look at the blanket dimension chart that you're about to see. If you're curious at all about what materials I use to make the sweet stitch blanket, you can find all that information in the details description below this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>